Well, welcome back to Sonora Spring Zoo, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back over here as we check out a new addition to Sonora Spring Zoo, or rather, a few new additions. Uh, so recently, I was able to contact Zuv. He's a very fantastic builder. You guys can find him on Bronation. You guys can find him doing work in all types of projects. He's doing one with, you know, a certain YouTuber coming up soon. Uh, and he's also been working with Mike Sheets as of late. Re as of late, as of recently, tried to combine those two words, but it didn't really work out. Uh, but I actually asked him to pop in here into Sonora Spring Zoo and kind of give us a little one-two in terms of everything so you can already tell uh, some things are a little different and this is the first time I'm seeing this too so keep that in mind he already went through and changed out some of the colors in here which I already like um, I asked him to mainly keep like this main plaza the same uh, he's very good at doing like plaza work and stuff like that but he went through here and he actually changed out some of the colors of these shades which I think works out a lot better I think the reds and like the tans uh, fill out this area just a little bit more and have a lot more complementary colors. And what you can see throughout here, he's also added a whole bunch of different palm trees and stuff, which was something I was missing. It was something I didn't really have in the palette before, but I think it works out extremely well for everything included in here. And he also included a few other small details in here, which I really do like. Uh, you can see he did a little bit of gardening work, so I think these are new right over here. Uh, you will see a lot of his gardening work in a little bit. But first, I want to check out what he did with our parking lot. And yes, this is one of the things I really wanted from him was a nice big parking lot. And he actually went the distance, it looks like, and actually built far beyond that, which I am so happy with. So you could see that he absolutely took us to a new level. And you could see that he included this little parking lot over here. So we have a good amount of spaces. I think I might expand this a little bit in the future. But it really does look super awesome, Zoof. Thank you so much for this. It looks so awesome. Uh, but yeah, now we can finally ground our zoo kind of like in the middle of everything and I'm super happy with that And I think we're gonna get some very cool kind of viewing distances throughout here uh, We're gonna have the giraffe barn right over here, which is actually gonna be perfect uh, Since it can connect right up with the road that's gonna be perfect right there and I'm going to try and connect everything back here as well. Just making sure that everything is, you know, at least a little bit serviceable from the actual perspective of the staff members and stuff like that. I want to have that come into play. But as we can kind of make our way throughout here, and I'm going to pop down here in explore mode. Uh, we could see they did a lot of work with a lot of the palm trees. It just looks super good now. Uh, most of the work in here has been relatively unchanged it seems uh, a lot of like the structural stuff kind of stayed the same which i'm super happy with because i'm super proud of it uh but you can see we have a few more palm trees throughout here especially that one right there kind of serving as a way to guide you throughout this entire area which i really do like um it just it just looks super awesome to begin with and yeah, I'm just super happy with this Zoof. Amazing job. And I can't wait to see what else you did throughout here. Because he actually brought up a quick little thing to me. And asked if we could kind of do a little bit of work in the garden area back over here for the butterfly. So let's actually check that out. I'm super happy with like kind of how he's kind of working with the terrain sloping in here. Uh, it just looks super nice to begin with. And I'm super happy with it. But look at this. Custom Plants by Duct Tape Form, Mealy, and Thrive. Big shout out to those three. And big shout out to Zoof as well, because this is incredible. But this is exactly what I wanted out of here. This is exactly the vibes I like. And I forget, I think he said Living Desert had these, like, um, kind of cactus holders, which I really like. So they kind of help support the cacti as they kind of grow up. I believe these are the saguaro cactuses. And yeah, it just looks super awesome. We have an accessibility ramp over here. Uh, so in case if you're in like a little wheelchair, you can make your way down right over there. But look at that. Oh my gosh, this plaza and the little water fountain. I can't believe... Oh my... Are those the uh, enrichment jets? Those are the enrichment jets, I bet. Super smart move using those. No one ever uses them for that kind of purpose, which is super awesome. But look at these small little walkways over here. 
the small plot potted plants uh just all of this little detail back here is incredible i'm super happy with all of this uh but as you kind of make your way throughout here you have all these different kind of like palm trees i'm not sure what kinds those would be uh but i'm super happy with this oh man okay these are some of my favorites uh so i was able to visit cuba as an american i know it's very very rare that you actually get the chance to visit cuba as an american but they actually have these super cool palm trees that kind of go out towards the middle go back in and then back out again super happy that zoov was able to throw in some of those right there they look incredible and yeah, this is just such a nice little grove over here. And he actually included this little part back here too. That's just a cactus garden down here. Looks super awesome. Just the way he's able to manage these plants is incredible. But let's pop up over here because this is incredible. Check this out. He included like a walking bridge. And I'm not sure, is it traversable? Okay, I don't think it is. But I think I might be able to find a way to make it traversable in the future. But look at this gorgeous view down here. Oh my gosh, this is what I wanted out of here. This is, like, mine was fun. It was nice and uniform. But I think it was a little too uniform looking back at it. It was, like, a little bit too, I don't know. It was what I thought a botanical garden would be. But I'm super happy with his kind of additions on here. And especially that little kind of, like, air conditioning unit on the greenhouse. And it's so nice. Oh man, I love that. Uh, but making our way throughout the rest of the garden. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. You know what, Mike Sheets? You kind of raised a good little eagle under your wing right over there. Look at this all come to be. Oh my gosh, no. No, this is so much better now. Okay, so this is obviously that um, if I could select the right uh, butterfly house right under here i think it is yeah so that's a butterfly house throughout here and you can see that they're still free flying i'm not sure if the path is actually going through here i think it's one of the ones that sunk under there you could kind of see that when i kind of go right there yeah but you could see oh my gosh that little kind of a uh, water garden right there water garden pool uh and you can see like the nectar feeders and like the butterfly houses are still in full view that's so good. Oh my gosh, Zoo, you're killing it. Oh my god. Uh, but coming throughout here, you could already see. Okay, so Zoo actually popped in here and really upgraded this little kind of atrium, uh, butterfly house, greenhouse, yada yada. And I love that little mulch on the top. That works so well. And I'm just going to pop down here because it's being a little finicky. But the way that you are handling all of this little detail... This is incredible. Look at that. So, in case if you guys are unfamiliar, that is Bold Equine's beautiful, beautiful chrysalis display. Uh, and I asked her to actually put that on the workshop when I was building this back in early access. She didn't really know that I had early access. Uh, so it was just super fun just to be able to get that in there. So go check that out on the workshop. It's a really awesome piece. But look at all this. Just using the path in here. To really help it, um, I don't know, kind of complement the rest of the intricacies in the butterfly house. Like with the butterfly feeder right over here, it kind of like loops right up to it. So you could see, like, you know, the European peacock up close. You could see the blue morpho up close. Really awesome stuff over there. And look at this. Oh my gosh, I keep on kind of flying up. Another thing too that he did, he actually added a sprinkler system, which I believe is this oh 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 that is so nice oh my gosh that is 100 percent kind of the stuff that you would see in a butterfly house i love that okay popping down here look at all these small details again we have like these tiny little signs over here uh i'm i feel like these should have more detail on it i feel like my computer is just not registering it actually no i think it is why are they oh okay I thought they had like 54 pieces each, but no, it's just per thing. Look at, oh my gosh, I think that's a mangrove apple tree, right? Yeah, that's incredible right there. Look at this. Oh my god, and he even included some little ducks in here I'm super happy with. I love that. It's so nice. I don't know. I might swap those out for fish just because I think these ducks are 
just a little bit too under detailed for my preferences. Uh, I think these are by Drac or Mealy or someone, but I might swap them out for fish just because I like fish better too. Uh, but that is incredible. Looking at like the butterflies kind of flying past that waterfall. That is so awesome right there. And then it leads back out over here and kind of connects with the rest of the pathway too. Uh, so that is going to be super awesome. And we even have this little pool over here, <laughs> which was kind of where the um, kangaroos were going to go. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I think, am I a little lost? I might be a little lost. Hold on. Okay, so we have lines over here. Zoom kind of <laughs> changed around the formatting, which I'm not too upset about. I think it's actually going to work out pretty good. He knows what he's going on about. So we have kangaroos and emus over here. I'll try and work that in. Uh, main wolves back over there. And once you kind of come out of the garden, yeah, hold on. Okay, you come out of the garden, you see the lions. So it's kind of forcing you to come through the garden, which I think is going to be super nice. Uh, but it also kind of entices you to kind of, you know, wrap your trip up a little bit and kind of come through that way. I think that's super smart right there. Uh, just layout wise, I think it works out so much better. Uh, I might keep this. Yeah, I think I really like this uh, watering hole back here. I don't know. It, it's just kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, lions, you get the... Um, Use Cincy as inspo. Yeah, Zoo really wants me to uh, use the Cincinnati Zoo as inspiration for this, so I think I might. Um, but yeah, this is just super awesome. I love this little parking lot. I want to go through and add a few more details in here, just like, just to help spice it up a little bit more. Um, and I think what I want to do, actually, no, I think I'm going to keep those colors. I think they're pretty good as they are. Uh, but yeah, can the cars actually get through here? That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. I think I might nix this up over here and then kind of just have the cars be able to kind of go through there. Maybe. Is is there a way I could kind of, you know, slightly... Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll figure out, like, all the details later, but this is super awesome, Zoo. Amazing job. Um, no, I'm just very excited to see what we do with this in the future. Uh, because we have a lot of work to do here in Sonora Springs. And I'm super happy that we were finally able to really kind of upgrade this for the better. And we got a really awesome builder in here too. Just to help kind of put things together. And help us really determine where we're going forward in the future over here. So I still have a lot to do over here. I still have a lot to do in terms of like, you know, aesthetics. Really trying to figure out how to actually... Make this entrance feel a little bit more grand because I want it to feel just a smidge more bigger. And I do want to, um, I feel like this is a little bit too, um, hold on, Scarecrow. I need my Scarecrow. Yeah, that is a little bit too high up of an elevation for guests to kind of make their way up. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of have the path kind of slowly slope down a little bit. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But Zuv, I'm so happy I called upon you. You really helped improve this, especially with the garden. I don't know. I'm just super amazed at this. Thank you so much for all the incredible work that you did. And yeah, we're going to end it in here because this is just vibes in here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give a huge thank you to Zoo for actually coming in here and really giving us a beautiful, beautiful upgrade to Sonora Spring Zoo. Thank you all for stopping by, and I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now. Wonder